you may well be asking, why do I look so happy? Because I've created an awful lot of work for myself, but it's going to pay off in the end. What I've done uh, this weekend is I have transferred all the food in my prepping box uh, from the drawers that I had into my actual working pantry. How did I do this? I reorganised, obviously. So with that, I have all my everyday items in the usual area it would be, up the very top of the pantry where it is really hard to get to um, unless I use a ladder, with just uh, snacks and you know that kind of thing. So I've taken all that out rearranged it and now I have prepping food up the top of the pantry and also in another uh, cupboard that I had next to the pantry which just had useless items in it really. I've taken them out and I have um, stored food in there also. So let me show you what I've done. In here this is my working pantry um, as in this is the food that I use every day and um, so that's been all rearranged and then right up the very top there I have our dried prepping items so I'm going to run through that with you right now. Okay so up the top here um, I have all our like pouring custards and milk packets here at the back um, then I've got all our dried packets of noodles and pastas here um, our packets of rice here all our noodles here um, in this box is our meat sticks and beef jerky and things in this little box behind has got all our um, cereal and uh, dried snacks and then in this cupboard here I have all our canned food, so we've got all our hams and baked beans and spaghettis and other types of beans, tomatoes, cream dries, and down here I've got uh, all our soups and uh, chunky foods there at the moment, um, peanut paste, and then bickies and fruits, dried fruits and snacks up in, in those containers there. So this is going to work much better. Yeah, what do I do when this is full? Well, when this is full, then I resort to the um, drawers that I was using before. So this is going to work so much better. I'll be able to keep it more organised. When I open the doors, I'm going to be able to see what I've got. And also using my inventory, I'll be able to know how much I've got uh, and what I need to replace. Now, you may well be asking, why am I prepping? Okay, my main reason for prepping is because we go through a lot of tough times and uh, when we go through these tough times we can't shop for a couple of weeks. That doesn't make me feel good number one as a parent um, and you know it sets off a whole load of insecurities for me. So by prepping, um, ensuring that I have food on hand at all times, I don't have to stress about that. Uh, also, we live in Queensland, Australia, so it does get um, flooded here from time to time. Um, we get our big downpours during summer, and when that happens occasionally, it does flood. So the shops are empty, there's no food in the supermarkets, and I've been caught out before where I couldn't get milk, I couldn't get bread, I couldn't get any of the essential items. Um, and I went into a frenzy of panic. So I'm going to ensure that that doesn't happen again. Around the world there are earthquakes happening. There's, you know, all sorts of solar stuff going on with the sun. There is major stuff happening with um, governments and places all over the world. There's uh, riots, there's um, martial law being put in place. There's, you know, so much to think about, so much to worry about. Um, so if I can ensure that we have enough food to get us through, you know, several months, um, plus on top of that, the food that I do have in the pantry, then I'm happy. So if you're not prepping, please, please at least get some things put away so that, you know, 
when these tough times happen, you know that you can feed your family um, or feed yourself. So besides all these, obviously I have uh, some survival items as well, which I'm gradually building um, just in case at any point we have to leave the home or, you know, let's just say there's curfews in place and people are not, you know, able to get any food and um, things like that. I have um, started my survival items list and it is growing and growing. So, you know, I can start a fire. I have practiced. I have a, a saw. I have, um, what do you call it, emergency blankets. I have, uh, what else do I have? A uh, stock of candles, a stock of matches and lighters and all sorts of things. Um, so please get yourself prepared because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Is it going to save me if there's an apocalypse? No. Is it going to save me if the world is ending? No. But it is going to get me through the tough times. Anyway, that ends it for this video. Please, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're doing to prepare um, or if you need some help in getting started. Let me know. Cheers, guys. See you next time.